So it's not completely done yet, but I got my collage going on. A lot of you guys were concerned if Bill was coming with me, and he's right there, so don't worry. I brought Bill with us, and I do have Jack now. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we have Jack too. So say hello to Jack, and also we have Steven. Steven Tyler's there. So I'm really excited about this setup. I really love it. I have my vanity. That's where I get ready, and then I have like this little desk kind of setup thing where I film now, and I love it because it's so much easier to have like a separate space just for filming. Let's jump into the empties because I have a lot this month as usual but I feel like I have more this month than last month so I don't even know how that happened but let's start off with the makeup which I have in this little bag here. I have one lippy this month. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Cherry Me. This is my favorite one that they make. It smells like cherry popsicles and it leaves a beautiful red tint to your lips. It's completely gone. I use it all up. I don't know how but I just go through these like nothing. Then I have two concealers here. This one I like. It's the NYX HD concealer. It's a very lightweight and it's nice coverage. It's five dollars. I got mine for three when they were on sale. Like I think on their website I stocked up and got a bunch of these. This Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. It's the lightest one that they make but it's really orange. I talked this, uh, it's orange on me anyway. I talked about this in my products I regret buying for 2014. And I have a lot of eye products as usual because eye products I just tend to go through them like nothing especially since even on days where say like I won't wear foundation I'll at least wear eye eyeliner or some mascara. So I have two eyeliners this month. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense and I did like this. I purchased this a while back because of Allison Anderson here on YouTube and she loves this thing but I'm not really as big of a fan of this as I am of the L'Oreal 12 hour I think super slim is what it's called that pen liner that I love. It's just like the perfect felt tip pen and this I thought it was going to be a pen but it's actually kind of like a little has like a little inkwell type of deal and you dip it in like that. This was okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I just prefer the pen, I guess. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen and this is in the shade Black. It's like not a felt tip pen. It actually has a bunch of little bristles on it, but they they work. I mean, it's a nice applicator, but the thing is like the formula is really like a light gray. It's not black. And um, a lot of you guys said that you had the same issue and you told me to get the Ultra Black Formula. So I think I will, but I also saw a lot of comments saying like, oh, my Ultra Black was gray too so I'm kind of like I don't know if I should do it or not but I think next time Physicians goes on sale I'll probably pick up the Ultra Black and then I have a bunch of mascaras as usual because mascaras just go up quickly so I have one from Maybelline this is the full and soft I really like this for natural looks it's just a really nice natural everyday type of mascara I've mentioned this a lot in my empties and in my old mascara videos like my first videos here on YouTube I just love this this was one of like my first mascaras I got into it just has a a nice thick brush natural bristles one I wasn't a fan of is this Clinique high impact extreme volume mascara this was just a mess for me the formula the wand I did not like it it's plastic bristles on the wand here and it's just like it looks like it'd be really good but they're so sharp and it's just like I don't know I just didn't I couldn't get onto this wand and the formula flaked on me like crazy it was like it smudged and it flaked and then I have this little sample mascara I don't even know how old this is I I just need to get rid of it honestly and it's the Urban Decay Super Curling Mascara. So this has like a plastic bristle brush but it's curved and it has like a lot of gaps in it. It smells really strong like chemicals. I only used it like one time because it just burned my eyes. I don't even know if they make this anymore so this just needs to go pretty much. And then I have another Avon Mascara. This is the Super Drama and I totally regret buying this. This was like $7 from the Avon catalog. Um, this has like plastic discs that are square shaped that are like stacked on top of one another it's a trip like I seriously bought this because it had all of these claims like really crazy pictures and I don't know you know how Avon is like sometimes they have really great products but sometimes you buy that one product that's just like a total dud and this was one of those just duds for me it, I just could not even get this to work this is the NYX dewy finish setting spray this is just a great setting spray especially if you're someone who has dry skin like me I feel like this just gives your skin a beautiful beautiful finish, a really nice glow to it. It can 
take down a powdery look but it also prolongs wear of your makeup it's just like one of my holy grail sprays at like in general I love the Urban Decay All Nighter that's my favorite but this is my favorite drugstore one and I have a MAC mineralized skin finish in natural I love this powder this is the newer packaging it sets your foundation but it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and also it looks very nice and light I love this stuff I already repurchased it this is like one of my holy grail products and it's great for pale skin so moving into skincare this is one of my holy grail products if you're new to my channel I've been using these forever since like maybe even before middle school like that's how long I've been using these are the Aveeno clear complexion daily cleansing pads you get 28 in here and I bought this on sale at Harmon's for three dollars each I use one of these a day it's basically like a clear little cloth that has Aveeno cleanser in it so you can use it to remove your makeup and cleanse your skin it's just an amazing product I have some face washes here this is the Neutrogena Naturals one I love the deep clean but I decided to try this for fun it's the fresh cleansing plus makeup remover and it says it has no chemicals sulfates parabens dyes phthalates things like that um, I really liked it it does have fragrance in it however it kind of smells like apples another face wash here from Aveeno this is the ultra calming foaming cleanser it's supposed to be really gentle and really um, nice for people who have sensitive skin it's fragrance free I like this but I didn't feel like it really vi helped visibly reduce redness or whatever it says um, it claimed to help reduce like all the redness in your skin and it didn't really do that so I probably won't purchase again another face product this is the st. Ives nourished and smooth oatmeal scrub plus mask it claimed to soften skin and smooth away dryness I did like this better than the apricot one but it was still a little bit too harsh to use on the face so I actually ended up using it like as a body scrub um, I do have a makeup remover this is my favorite eye makeup remover by Neutrogena this is just their basic oil free eye makeup remover I love this stuff it's my holy grail I use this pretty much like once a month I go through one of these bottles I really like this stuff for my eyes and then I like to use the Neutrogena face wipes for removing like the rest of my makeup this stuff is amazing these are my holy grail I've used like pretty much every drugstore brand and I always go back to these these are just amazing I really love them and they don't burn my skin or my eyes I just keep coming back to these and I like to buy them in bulk at Sam's Club and then I have the um, up and up ones from Target I like to use these to remove swatches when I'm doing videos to clean my desk area like I just like these for everything else pretty much because I don't like to waste my nice ones I have some body care products and they're all from Aveeno I really like Aveeno products I'm not sponsored by them I've just been using pretty much their products for years ever since I was a kid um, this is one of the things that has always been a staple for me it's their daily moisturizing lotion I love this it has oatmeal in it this lotion is just really nice it's not too thick it's not greasy and it absorbs into my skin really quickly plus I love the big sizes that you can get this is a newer product to me I just discovered this last year and I'm so happy I did because I cannot use like really fragrance um, body washes and stuff so I found this from Aveeno it's fragrance free and I love it because it doesn't hurt my eczema um, I just really can't use scented soaps and scented like things like that I have to be careful with um, so yeah this is just their skin relief body wash and then I also tried out their positively smooth shave gel this does however have fragrance in it it says it's lightly fragranced with natural soy I do like this because it's really um, moisturizing and very rich but it is a little pricey I think this is like five bucks even at Target it's like four or something so not a big fan of the price um, because shaving cream is something that I use up like all the time and I like the Gillette satin care they have a fragrance free one and it's so amazing so I've been sticking with that moving into hair care I have a lot of products here I just kind of had a bunch of things that were like all half empty so I finished them like all at the same time this is from herbal essence it's part of their naked line I bought this when it was brand new and I just barely finished it up I've had this forever it's their um, shine sheer shine mist and it has 0% silicone it has like no dyes in it and I bought this because I really like shine sprays just to you know kind of add some life to my hair but this one just didn't really do anything it kind of smelled weird so I won't get it again this is my holy grail I love this stuff it is the Batiste dry shampoo look at how cute the packaging is it's so nice I love the way it smells like cherries this is the fruity and cheeky scent they have a lot of different scents you can get them at Ulta is where I buy mine it's like seven bucks and they're always on sale like buy two get one free or buy one get one half off this stuff is awesome I already have a couple cans waiting to get used I have another product I used up that I really like it's the suave heat protectant this is usually like two dollars at Target but the crazy thing is okay Target stopped selling it completely like 
like all together last year. I don't know why, but they had every other product in this line except for the heat protectant. So I went to Walmart and I found it there, no problem, two bucks, same price. And then they stopped selling it now. So I don't know where to get this anymore because I don't see it like at Walgreens. And um, I don't know, I just don't know why they stopped carrying this, but it was an awesome heat protectant. It was really fine mist and it's awesome. But oh well, I have to find something else. And I have another like holy grail hair product for me. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Moist Miracle. I know that people either like love this or hate it, but I'm one that's been using it for years, like ever since before I had color treated hair. Like even when I was a kid, I've been using this. My mom uses this. Like I love this stuff and it's so good if you have, um, if you just need a nice like deep conditioner. I like to put this like in the ends of my hair, just let it sit. And then when I get out, my hair just smells good like coconuts and also it's really soft to the touch. It's just an awesome deep conditioner. I mean, it's not like going to reverse any damage. Like I'm sure it's not going to do that, but it just works well for adding moisture to the hair. I used up my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the Frizzies by John Frieda, the Smooth Start Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is so awesome. It really does what it says. Like it just gets the frizz out of my hair completely. Plus it doesn't wash the color out and it's just, it smells great, works great. It's only like five bucks for each bottle at the drugstore and they go on sale a lot. I've tried so many shampoos and conditioners but nothing has worked as well as this um, so I stick with it and I love it. I used up a box hair dye this month. This is the L'Oreal Feria Power Reds High Intensity Shimmering Color. So it claimed to give you like a power like a boost of shimmer or something in your hair and um, this is in the shade R57 Intense Medium Auburn. Um, before this I actually had my hair dyed at the salon but I was just kind of like I don't know I was getting tired of it. It was really expensive and I was like I can't do this every month so I just um I used to dye my hair myself anyway when I had black hair so I just picked this up and it's like a little three step process and I really like it. I have to say I feel like it's a lot brighter than it was before. I used up two mouthwashes. This is the Crest Pro Health Tartar Protection. I didn't really like this. It just kind of I don't know I didn't like how it tasted compared to my good old Listerine Zero so this was a little travel size I used up. So here's my two samples I used up. This is the Fresh Rose Hydrating Eye Gel Cream and this brand Fresh is the people who make the uh, Fresh Sugar Lip Balms which I love and this was so nice. I mean it smelled like just fresh cut roses. So there's what that one looks like. I really did like it. It was really hydrating but I'm not sure how much the original price is. I'm sure it's really expensive. And then I have another sample here. This is a perfume sample. It's from Estee Lauder and it's the Modern Muse. I really like this because it was very fresh. There's a tiny bit left here so I'll spray it. I wish you guys could smell it. It's very fresh. It's actually really nice. I didn't think I would like it, but it's definitely more of a, um, I would say more of a grown up kind of scent. I mean, if you're younger, you probably won't like this. It's not sugar. It's not candy. It's actually pretty, it has a little spiciness to it. I actually did use up a full bottle of perfume. However, this is the Juicy Couture Original Perfume. This is kind of like one of those perfumes that I've been wearing since sixth grade. I'm not even kidding you. This was like my first perfume that wasn't a Britney Spears perfume. This used to be like the only perfume I wore but now I have other ones that I really like and I kind of have been gearing with those more. I still like this. It's still really it's just really sweet and it reminds me of like being young so I do like it but it's just kind of like I've worn out I've worn out of this like pretty much and I do have some Bath and Body Works stuff so of course I got some candles for you guys here's two from the pumpkin collection I don't know if you guys saw my haul video but I pretty much bought like every candle from this line this one wasn't my favorite it was okay it was the spice pumpkin cider and basically it didn't smell like any pumpkin at all it says it's supposed to be a warming blend of orchard fresh pumpkin apple cider ground nutmeg and a hint of clementine orange it it really just smelled like cinnamon. I mean, mine did not smell like anything else but cinnamon. One that I absolutely loved, however, was the pumpkin cupcake. This just smelled so good, so yummy, kind of like fresh pumpkin bread, but really sweet, like sugary at the same time. It smelled like a bakery in your house, and I'm so sad it's all gone. I hope they bring it back next fall because I love this stuff. This is the White Barn Cranberry Woods, and this smelled just like fresh cranberries. I really love cranberries, so this was just a huge hit for me, and it smelled like someone was making cranberry sauce like fresh in front of you that's how good it was it was very fragrant and this was an older one so I think they have brought something back that is similar to it I have a lot of foaming hand soaps I used up I love these by the way if you're new to my channel love Bath and Body Works foaming hand soaps this is the winter one this was a very fresh scent the packaging is so cute that's really why I bought it I was like oh winter trees glitter that's why I got it it smelled very fresh I did like it not my favorite but it was good this is the cherry almond 
shortbread. It smelled so good, just like fresh cookies with like jam in the middle. So good. I love this. It was really sweet. And look at that packaging. So cute. I have these two kind of Christmassy ones. This is the Candy Cane Bliss. It smells just like candy canes. It doesn't get any better than that. Really nice and minty scent. And then this was the Kiss Kiss Mistletoe. This one kind of also was like fresh, kind of smelled like pine trees. One that I really loved, this is the Lemon Meringue Cheer. I'm pretty sure you can still get this one. It is so good, you guys. It smells like lemon cake, like just fresh baked lemon cake in your face. It's so good. It makes me hungry. Seriously, it smells amazing and it's so cute. Look at the packaging. It makes me want to eat dessert like right now. Alright guys so that's it for this empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below and let me know what you have used up this month and also let me know what your favorite perfume is or one that you have repurchased because now that I'm on the hunt for a new one I would love to know what you guys have to recommend. It doesn't matter if it's sweet, spicy, fresh. I would just love to hear. So until next time I hope you enjoyed this and as always thank you so much for watching.